Section 10.2, pressure. Pressure is a force where you have a, a push against something. So the gases can put a pressure on an, the inside of a balloon and make the balloon big. Or the atmospheric pressure, all the gases above the earth can push down on you. And every square inch of you can feel 15 pounds of weight. That's, that's air pressure. Um, it allows your lungs to fill or to not fill. If you were in a, in a place where there was no pressure, your eyes would pop out. So that's why you have a space helmet. So if you have a space helmet. So in any case, atmospheric pressure is weight, which is force in newtons, divided by the area that it's pushing on. And uh, again, it's about 15 pounds per square inch uh, in in SI units, we're going to use the Pascal. The Pascal um, is whatever the weight of the atmosphere is per square meter, uh, which is about 1, 1.5, 1, 1 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter, and that's called a Pascal. So there's about 100 uh, pa uh, kilopascals in one atmosphere, so the atmospheric pressure. Um, or you can just call it one atmosphere. I, I, like, I use atmospheres a lot. So a Pascal is a Newton per meter squared. And so since the air weighs 1 times 10 to the fifth Newtons, if you have one square meter of area, it's pushing that much weight per area, and that's called a Pascal. So a bar, which is close to an atmosphere, is 10 to the fifth, or 1 times 10 to the fifth pascals, or 100 pas kilopascals. And so a bar, which you use, uh, the weather channel would use bars, um, essentially saying the, the weight of an atmosphere. And in our class, we use atmospheres also. The, um, back in the 17th century, a uh, really cool uh, gadget was made called the barometer that tests the atmospheric pressure. So if you have, if you were to take a very thin tube and uh, submerge it in some mercury to where all the bubbles come out, so you have just mercury in the tube, and then you invert the, the tube so that it's standing up, so you have mercury all the way to the top, well, what'll happen is the atmospheric pressure will push down into the mercury, into the pan of mercury, and it will shove some of the mercury up and down in the tube, so you have a vacuum above it. So the when you have a particularly high pressure day, which is a bright blue sky, no clouds, very high pressure, lots of air molecules shoving above you more than normal, then there's more weight of the atmosphere, then it shoves down into the mercury and the mercury rises. So you have a high barometer reading. On a day where you have lots of clouds, where it's low pressure, that means there's very few molecules above you or lesser number of molecules above you. So there, there's less weight shoving, and so the, the, the barometer will drop. And so the barometer is an indicator of weather. So the lower the barometer reading, the normally the more tr turbulent the weather patterns are in a certain day. So normal air pressure, one atmosphere of air pressure, uh, raises the barometer reading in one of these ancient barometers to 760 millimeters. Okay, so we've just come to accept that original barometer and what that reading was. And so a normal atmosphere will shove the, the mercury up that uh, vacuum tube to 760 millimeters. So seven, 760 millimeters of mercury is the same as one atmosphere, which is the same as a bar which is same as 760 Tor. Tor is uh, named after Torricelli, the fellow who made the barometer. So if you make a barometer, they'll name stuff after you too. Normally in the lab, if you want to study uh, pressures of gases, you use a manometer, and there's a couple of times of manometers. If you were to have a gas filling a vessel, and it's open to a plug of mercury, Okay, so the mercury is free to move just like it does in a barometer. An open-ended manometer is open to the air pressure. So you've got essentially a tug of war. The air pressure is pushing down from the atmosphere, and the gas pressure is pushing up from inside the vessel. And then the distance and the height of the, 
of the plug will tell you where, you know, how much pressure is being exerted. So it's kind of like a this minus this kind of thing. Uh, there is a closed ended manometer too, where it's just shoving only um, onto, a, onto a tip of vacuum. So, so you're only, there's not an air pressure involved. You're just looking at the pressure inside the gas. So they work in basically the same way. All right, so standard pressure is one atmosphere. So one atmosphere is normally 760 in the barometer, 760 millimeters, which is called 760 tor. So one millimeter mercury is a tor, and that's equal to uh, 1.01 pascals, which is equal to 101.3 kilopascals. All of them can be interchanged and used interchangeably.